out there and show you. Um, you know, I am inside here, and the more I read about this telescope, the more I just respect exactly what it's doing. I mean, let me take you back in history a little bit. Um, the groundbreaking ceremony took place here in, in 2000. That's when it happened, in the year 2000. That was when the, the site was found and the, the idea of bringing salt about was actually created. So that was in 2000. By March 2004, those mirrors that you're looking at, and they've been on your screen, we've been showing them to you throughout the broadcast. Those are actually mirrors that uh, are installed there. Um, they're the installation of these massive mirrors begin. 91 small mirrors that uh, are hexagon segments were put in place there in May 2005. Now the first light with a full mirror was declared on the 1st of September 2005 and then SALT was officially opened by President Thabo Mbeki on the 10th of November 2005. So that's the history, that's the development of SALT. But you know, to maintain something like this and to actually see how it operates and works is, is quite something incredible and that's why we've put this insert together for you so that you can actually take a look. The reason the Southern African Large Telescope was erected outside the town of Sutherland is that it is one of a handful of locations in the world that is ideal for stargazing. Its remoteness, elevation of 2,000 meters above sea level, the cold and the absence of light pollution ensure clear cloudless skies essential for research. Scientists from across the world do research at this telescope. So as SALT Astronomer I'm conducting the operations and the observation for the community who request time on the telescope. So the astronomers around the world ask us to do the observations for them so that they can do science after that. And me at the telescope, I do the observations and so that they have the data that they need to do their science. SALT is a company, SALT PTY Limited, SALT Foundation PTY Limited, registered in South Africa. And we have shareholders in this company, like all companies. South Africa is the largest shareholder at 30%. Uh, but we have six uh, shareholders out of six different countries. United States, United Kingdom, Poland, India, New Zealand and of course South Africa and they get time on the telescope um, in accordance with the shares they have. A team of technicians and engineers ensure that the telescope operates with precision on a daily basis. SALT is a sophisticated telescope. There is a lot of machines and instruments that have to work together to, to actually get the data in the end. And um, so we record lots of, lots of data um, of what the machine is actually doing, um, where the machine is, um, temperatures of everything, how fast it's moving, uh, that all gets fed back into computers and we have parameters where the machine carrier needs to work in. Um, and as soon as something goes outside of those parameters, we get fault messages and then a, a team of technicians responds to that to, to correct it. So preventative maintenance is a big part of things. Um, we don't want to lose night time, time to collect data. So we do a lot of preventative maintenance um, and testing. Uh, so every, every night uh, before the telescope opens, we, we test everything on the telescope to make sure it's working properly. Um, and then, then the telescope will be for the night. The telescope has been in full science operation since 2011 and is realizing its huge potential as Africa's giant eye on the universe. Linka Beerman, Morning Live, Sutherland. Fantastic. There you go. I hope that gave you a better understanding of the operations of Sultan. You saw those beautiful visuals and here we are back on a misty morning.